What up friends and welcome to this week's episode of Tutorial Tuesday. So this week we're going to be going over the priming that we're going to be doing for this dagger so that it can be ready to be uh, painted. Uh, let's uh, get to that intro. gems and the pommel and uh, now in between uh, last week and this week uh, I went and added in uh, filled in some of the more uh, the gaps left over with the quick seal uh, so specifically I went over uh, the grooves to uh, get rid of the tool marks uh, this does take a couple times of adding quick seal to do this uh, so that's kind of why I did it off camera, uh, but uh, yeah, the uh, like I said, takes a couple layers of quick seal to cover in the tool marks, and uh, makes everything look nice and smooth. And we also filled in some of the gaps on the pommel as well with quick seal, so that we hid any seams and whatnot. And I also gave it a light sanding to uh, remove any excess glue and whatnot that was left over. So uh, we're about ready to move on to the final prepping of this thing. Alright, so uh, what we're actually going to be doing is we are going to be hitting this with a heat gun. Uh, now this is kind of like the first step that we want to do before we start priming everything. Uh, as it uh, seals up the foam and uh, makes everything, uh, gets rid of all the little fuzzies that are left over and uh, seals up the foam. Uh, now we're going to want to use an actual heat gun, not a hair dryer, as a hair dryer just is, does not put out enough heat. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we want to, uh, once it's on, you just want to make sure that you give it a nice back and forth over the whole thing. Uh, you will see that the foam kind of changes, especially the EVA foam, changes the look, and that's just all the pores sealing themselves up. Uh, but that's how you know what areas you actually hit with the heat gun. And let like me say, you want to go over every part of it. Uh, the edges, the, the main parts, the handle, the pommel, uh, the whole thing. Let's be nice and sealed up. Now you don't really need to wear gloves or anything when you're doing this part because the thing is so big that it is easy to uh, make sure that you don't burn yourself. Alright, so now the next step that we're going to be doing is uh, we are going to start the priming and what we're going to use is this thing called Mod Podge. Now it is a sealant and uh, normally when we are working, uh, when we are priming stuff, we don't actually, uh, we definitely want to use more than just Mod Podge, but uh, part of the reason that we're doing it is the paint that we're going to be using. Uh, is uh, works real well and you could do other things like you could plastic dip or using gesso I will probably make other tutorial videos explaining these methods but uh, the paint that we're going to use is called flexi paint uh, there is a review that I did of this video so I'll leave the link for it uh, at the end of the video uh, now this stuff is designed specifically for working with foam, so you don't actually really need to prime anything, but uh, in this case I am going to use some Mod Podge to do so. Alright, 
right, so Mod Podge is essentially just a uh, clear um, sealant. Uh, you can use it for all kinds of different things. It uh, looks a little like white glue, but it, when it dries, it uh, dries clear, so you won't be able to uh, really see it. Everything will kind of stay the same. And uh, we're using a sponge brush just because it's the uh, easiest for uh, working with Mod Podge, or at least I find that, and you don't get uh, brush strokes left over afterwards. Then we want to go uh, at least once over uh, every part. You want to get all the little nooks and crannies on it. Uh, the best way to actually tell that you've uh, that it's got an area is that it'll actually have a nice little shine afterwards. And we want to make sure that we get the front and back of the blade. Like I said, work into all those little grooves. And we're also going to make sure that we get the cross guard and the handle and pommel as well. As you can see on the uh, EVA phone, it's definitely uh, because it's black, it is a little easier to tell where you've mod podge. areas now uh, we don't want to mod podge the gems as uh, we just want to leave those alone uh, but you are probably going to accidentally hit the uh, the gems so of course we're going to make sure that we wipe off any of the mod podge before it dries Said making sure we get absolutely everywhere with this. And making sure that those gems stay nice and clear. Guard, or uh, pommel, sorry. Alright, so now that we've got it everywhere, uh, we're going to let it dry. Uh, it takes about 15-20 minutes for it to dry. And uh, we are going to want to put a second layer onto this once it's dry. But like I said, we want to make sure that it's fully dry before you do so. Alright, so yeah, here we are now that we've got our second layer on it, and uh, now when the first layer dries, um, you can tell the spots that you need to do, uh, as there'll be little areas that they're just, it doesn't look shiny, essentially, uh, and those are the spots that you're going to want to focus on a little bit more when you do your second layer. And you can tell that the whole thing is ready when it's all nice and shiny. Alright, so we are about done our prepping stage for and priming for the dagger. Uh, so make sure that you tune in next week to see the uh, painting of the thing. Alright, well, uh, peace out guys, and have a good one, and we'll see you later.